Hey everybody, it's Linnea. Today I'll be using a few products from the latest Erin Lee Creative release to make a fun square card. So I have here the Fall Critter stamp set as well as the Horizon Burst die. Let's start off with my image and that's gonna come from that Fall Critter stamp set. I'm completely in love with this gorgeously sassy fox. So I'm gonna stamp her out with some black ink and color that image with Copic markers. Now, as I was looking for a combination of Copics that I thought would be kind of like a rusty orange, I realized that I don't have that. So I'm going to create this color combo myself. And these two markers, the YR27 and the YR07, you wouldn't look at and you wouldn't normally try to mix them. And it did take a little bit of extra effort to get them to blend. You're gonna see I have to kind of color out that YR27 with the YR07 marker quite a bit. But in the end, I think I got that rusty orange color that I was really working for. So it was definitely worth the extra minute or two that it took me to color this image. All I did was I started with that YR27 marker and I colored where I thought the shadows would be. And then I'm gonna come in with my orange, the YR07. And I'll just color those two markers together and get this pretty foxy color. For the lighter areas like the cheek fur and the tummy fur, the tail, I'm going to just use W0 and W2 for some warm gray colors. I like to have this little bit of white on the fox, but I like it since he's an outdoor animal to be a little bit of a dirty white. And then I'm going to come in and finish coloring these ears. I hope I'm not the only one that frequently forgets the little areas, so I'm just going to come in afterwards and color those in. Then I'll come in with a little bit of pink for the ears and I'll finish off with some purple and yellow flowers. Now, as I was coloring, I noticed that because I was doing so much blending, I was kind of covering up the stamped image. So all I do is I leave that stamp, and I do this all the time, I leave it in my Misty and after I'm done coloring, I re-stamp that to get those lines super dark and crisp. I've taken the Horizon Burst die and I've die cut that from a piece of square cardstock. And you can see here that that die just kind of pierces the cardstock. It doesn't really cut it. So I wanted to bring out those piercing details. And in the end, I think I did a little bit too much and I ended up negating what I was doing, but I love the finished product. So I'm just going to take some finger um, ink brushes and some dye inks and just kind of blend over the piercings from the Horizon Burst die. And I'm going in rainbow order. I started with the pink in the middle, and then I had orange and yellow, and then I'll go backwards from purple to blue to green until I have a whole horizon of colored inks. And here's where I think I did too much because you can clearly see those pierced spots. And I went ahead and added some water flicks. And I think that extra texture takes away from the piercings. And then I went even further and I added some gold watercolors. But you know what? In the end, I think you get a little hint of everything. You get a pop of color. You have that sparkly gold watercolor accent. And then you also have those pierced accents. I finished off with a strip of gold holographic cardstock at the bottom of my square card. This is four and a quarter by four and a quarter inches. And I added a sentiment from that fall critter stamp set. As always, all of the Erin Lee creative products I've used for today's card will be linked below in the video description. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you again soon. Bye.